How we doing, hockey fans? Ghost Picks Team Justin here. Uh, before we get into our plays that we have coming up for uh, that we had today, I want to talk to you guys for a minute about the upcoming uh, week that we have and a great deal we have for you guys. Um, Monday through Thursday, all plays for sixty nine sixty nine. Um, if there's one thing that I can say truthfully about Team Justin is we have been incredibly consistent with our results all year long. Um, don't get me wrong, we've had days where we just have gotten absolutely hammered, but we've always been able to bounce right back, and we almost always end up in the green at the end of the week. Um, I will say, and if we're not, we're, Team Justin's very good about getting you guys back to where we were, if not better, every single time. Um, and that's all I can really promise you guys, is I'm just going to keep on grinding for you guys as um, as the clients. So with that being said, I think going from Monday through Thursday, uh, you can't go wrong. It's a re it's a really good value, and you know if you want to stay on the the day plays, that's fine too. As we're always good about those as well. But I'm just telling you guys for your bang for your buck, Monday through Thursday, it's a great deal. Um, but that's enough of the promos for me for right now. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the plays that we had today, and they were. What seemed to be a rocking chair winner going into the third um, actually turned out being quite the opposite. Uh, we took the Washington Capitals money line uh, versus the New York Rangers today. And going into the third, it was a 2 nothing game, 3 nothing game, 4 nothing game. And I'm like, finally, something that I can finally relax. Coast, watch the rest of the game. And was I wrong or what? The Rangers absolutely stormed back. Um, they looked really, really dangerous in the third period. And you've seen it when they played Philadelphia a couple times this year. They've been able to just put up monster periods where like, you're like, where has this team been? Um, I will say uh, Washington, they kind of got lax, and then their goalie was just not seeing the puck the right way. Um, could give up some really juicy rebounds. I just don't know what he was thinking. If me, personally, I probably would have yanked him after the third goal went in. But, you know, I'm not a coach. I'm just here to watch. Uh, but with that being said, you know, uh, Washington, they did. They buckled down. They got the win 5-4. Way too close for comfort. It should have never got to that point. Um, but you know a win's a win. That was a nice four-unit four, four unit winner for us. I believe when, when the plays were sent out, it was either at minus 130 or minus 140. You'll have to double-check that. But like I said, a nice win for Team Justin uh, after the very unlucky night we had last night. Free play winner. Um, didn't, go, didn't go our way. Columbus Blue Jackets, like I said, I, I mean, I think you got to take that play nine times out of ten. Uh, Pickard hasn't won a game since 2018 in the NHL prior to this series, and now he's won two back-to-back -back games. Didn't see that coming. Um, kind of frustrating, but I think Columbus, I think we need to stop talking about them as a playoff team and kind of call it what it is and figure out where their players are going to go next year. I, I feel like they're going to start getting, getting rid of everything, starting to rebuild, um, and I feel bad for Alainé. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but going into tomorrow, uh, we, we are shaping up for a monster week in NHL. A lot of good lines, a lot of good action. Um, I'm pretty excited. This is one of, the, one of the weeks that I've really been looking forward to has been this week coming up. Just looking off into the future and the matchups that we have. Um, that Columbus team that I was just telling you about, they are about to get absolutely hammered this week. They play Tampa Bay. They play Florida. Florida. They go back to Tampa Bay again. I, I just see like they are about to abandon all hope and I'm going to be there for every minute of it and just believe me it's going to be a good week um but that being said it kind of goes into the this the work week um Monday through Thursday we are going to get a lot of plays I am going to be very disciplined I'm only going to be putting out one or two plays three tops um as I can see that sometimes it gets kind of if you have one one or two bad days you know it's not fun but we're going to keep going the way we're going. I feel like everything we're doing is trending in the right direction. And for you guys, I really want to work on these free plays. I don't know why they are getting so unlucky. And it just I feel like everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Um, I even looked at putting putting out another free play for today. Um, but it's just not lining up. I will put a lean on Nashville tonight. I like them versus Chicago. Although I'm not going to put out a play. It's not a free play. I just don't know if uh, the way that Nashville are trending in the right direction and the way that um, Subin has played in his last couple games, I like Nashville tonight. And if you guys are looking for a little more action, I would go Nashville. Um, but tomorrow's free play. I'm going back up north and taking the Winnipeg Jets versus the Calgary Flames. They've split the series 1-1. One, one. Um, both very good games, 1-3-2, one 1-4-2 a a with an uh, empty netter late. Uh, this is going to be the rubber match, and I like Winnipeg. I think they're a better, well-rounded team. 
Um, Calgary has something to prove. They've kind of been pushed around. Winnipeg, I believe, is like five and two in their last seven. And I believe Calgary is the exact opposite. I do like Winnipeg again. Um, for some reason, they're the dogs, which kind of is the reason they scared me off a little bit. Um, but I do like Winnipeg. That's your free play. And we're going to get this right back on track. Um, top tiers are looking really good. I think we're crouching up on 29 and 13. Uh, unbelievable number. Our top tier plays are absolutely hitting right now. Um, we've had a couple plays where we've gotten some um, bad puck luck, but we've always been able to bounce right back, like I said. Um, so with that being said, good luck, God bless, grind on, and let's go.